Good morning. I'm Herb Buffington, organist of Peachtree Christian Church in Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome to this installment in a weekly series exploring great hymns of the Christian Church through arrangements and improvisations for organ and piano. Today's hymn is Draw Us in the Spirit's Tether, which can be found at hymn 392 in your chalice hymnal. Percy Dearmer, distinguished cleric, author, and hymnist collaborated with Rafe Vaughn Williams and Martin Shaw in producing three outstanding hymnals in Great Britain. The English Hymnal from 1906, Songs of Praise from 1925 and 1931, and the Oxford Book of Carols also in 1931. Draw Us in the Spirit's Tether appeared for the first time in Songs of Praise Enlarged in 1931. While conceived as a post-communion hymn, it is often used for communion preparation. The first stanza serves well as a sung call to worship or prayer. While tether is an archaic and uncommon word nowadays, it is easily understood in relation to tying up or joining together. Stanza 1 alludes to two scripture passages in Matthew's Gospel. First. Matthew chapter 18 verse 20 says, Where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am in the midst of them. And then Matthew chapter 9 verses 19 through 22, the story of the woman with an issue of blood reminds the singer of the possibility of healing simply by touching the hem of Jesus' garment. Stanza 2 is a reminder of the actions of the Lord's Supper as gathering, giving thanks, and breaking and blessing are highlighted, and the community is bound together in friendship. In the final stanza, eating and action are joined as sacramentally as the believer is sanctified by a life of caring, helping, giving, and serving. Before the hymn text was first published in the United States in 1970, it had already gained popularity because of Harold Friedel's 1957 anthem setting. Friedel, who lived from 1905 to 1958, was a professor of theory and composition at the School of Sacred Music of Union Theological Seminary in New York City. Jet Turner, a Master of Sacred Music graduate at Union Theological Seminary, arranged a portion of the music of Harold Friedel's anthem as a hymn and named the tune Union Seminary. Mm -hmm. 